Yeah, so we're gonna play some uh, Adam Wake. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <gasps> Suddenly, his body was gone. You know, I'm pretty sure this is how um, I know she did last summer started. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> do you, do you, you think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives? Uh, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. You missed your deadline. Damn. Oh, God. Holy crap, that's loud in my headset. Quickly get inside. There's no time to lose. It's this year. Oh no. Stop. No. Damn it, die. No, no, no. <laughs> Your man's got a huge L. Yo, why is this grown ass man wearing like a high school leatherman jacket? <laughs> what? Did I say leather leather man? There was no way hmm. out. Yep, cause that's normal. That is nothing nothing's wrong with that at all. Oh shit. Whoa. I would love to get out of this 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 cabin. Is this God talking to me? To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Yeah, not at all. Yeah, so obviously I'm talking to God now. O only God can do that, I guess. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. 
Yes. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Right, that was anticlimactic. Okay, there we go. He did it. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Yo, God is amazing. You can be fast ice and guns. Good. You've done well. Remember Repairing broken point. stairs. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. And just like God, you know, just does the revert and goes away. This was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on earth. Okay. Where the hell are you going? I don't I don't know what his plan was, but it was a very poor plan. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Y'all tripping. Nope, see you later. I'm out. Oh God. Oh. I can keep this up. Oh, that's just not fair. Oh, that's not fair at all. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I don't want to stand next to him. Hi. Oh boy, oh, I'm in McGillicuddy. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. You have a lovely wife, if you don't mind me saying. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Uh, so, yeah. I know the theme with this game is, is kind of has Twin Peaks vibes. And honestly, I have never watched Twin Peaks. Um, I should probably do that at some point in time. But obviously, you know, Adam Wake is a writer. My name is Alan Wake. So it kind of gives you a little bit of Stephen King vibes too. I think we're in some Northeast small town somewhere, kind of like how in Stephen King novels and books, everything happens in Maine. So yeah, it's um, kind of have like a little bit of homage. Local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord, a Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say 15 minutes. Sure. Yo, they got a sink. Did it say Microsoft Sync in there? Wow. Ready to throw your own advertisement in there. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake, Alan Wake. Oh, God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. <laughs> that look of disgust in his face. Believe <laughs> it. He is not a fan of his fans. I got the cut up from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Sure I wasn't ready to leave. I, I needed to find Carl Stuckey to get the key to the cabin. Thanks, Rose. Do me a favor, Which... Sonny. I could really use a tune, Rose. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs. Have gone to sleep. Yes, yeah, that that's been about five years. Yeah, are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. 
What song is it gonna play? You put the lime in the oh wow, that song! Oh God, wow! Brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. <laughs> Why would you slap me, dude, boss? This is amazing. Yes, that's my favorite tune, coconut. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Oh, I, obviously I can't go that way because that giant cart is blocking the entire way, which I probably couldn't move. But hey, video games. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Is he stuck in the bathroom? Okay, thank you. I see myself out. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. I don't, uh, creepy lady. Now, where did she even come from? And why is she wearing like a funeral veil over her face? All right, see you later, I guess. Thanks for warning me, lady. Yes, my wife is right on time. Let's get the hell out of this creepy diner. Yo, how's he driving the car with no keys? What? Was a real nut house. <laughs> it gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Yeah, because being in the cabin in the middle of nowhere is it is always a good idea, you know. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. You know, that doesn't look too bad. Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. I wish I knew my wife's name. She, I probably said it, well, Alan probably said it at some point, but um, I, I have no idea what her name is. At all. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. All right, sure you do that, you do that, honey. Sure the island had once been the site for a love story. Oh, well, interrupt that, I guess. Wow, this Silent Hill fog just came out of nowhere. Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. No, every door is locked, apparently. So, uh, what was that key for? Was it key for the cabin or for the, was it for her car? Because I'm not really sure. What is this? Oh no, not Rose. I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh, my favorite writer. Exactly. Thank you, Alan. I feel your pain, sir. 